what are the side effects of the vaccine, you ask? What are the long-term effects? What could happen down the line? You, you guys ask me this question all the time. And sometimes when you comment on my posts and you say, look, I'm not getting the vaccine. I haven't gotten the vaccine. I'm concerned about long-term effects. Um, just know that if that's you, you're not alone. A lot of you have cited that as being your main concern with the COVID vaccine is you don't know what the long-term effects are. So uh, we're talking about those today. I'm going to tell you what the long-term effects may be, uh, what they're not, what we know, what we don't know. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. I'm a practicing family physician and on-air health expert and video creator. Let's jump right in. First of all, I want to thank Children's Hospital. Hospital of Philadelphia, who has an awesome website with a lot of great vaccine information, who's helped me organize my thoughts about this. So CHOP, uh, thank you so much. So let's first start with, I think, the most important thing you need to know hands down about this topic. If there are long-term effects that happen after a vaccine, they typically happen within two months of the vaccine being administered. That's the first and most important thing you need to know is that if there are going to be any effects at all, if there are going to be delayed effects, immediate effects, or whatever the case may be, those effects typically happen within two months of the vaccine being administered. Guys, first of all, that is really, really, really good news. Um, and um, I, I, there's a few other things you should know about this is that throughout history, there have been, I'd say, probably five or so vaccines that the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia and other sites, um, websites and, and organizations cite that we have experienced and we have learned that there can be delayed effects from. But in those instances, those five vaccines or so, those effects have occurred within two months of the vaccine administration. Okay, so this is excellent. I'm hoping this like right away sort of eases your fears because the COVID vaccine has been out for way longer than two months. We know that millions of people throughout the world have gotten the vaccine and have had the vaccine for over two months, including myself. I got my vaccines first one in December of 2020, the second in January of 2021. I am now what, seven, uh, six, seven months out for my vaccines. Uh, we know once again, if there are going to be side effects, they will happen within the first two months of vaccination. The other thing you should know is that this is actually why the FDA requires what it does from vaccine makers, uh, namely that the FDA requires that companies who make COVID vaccines uh, follow the vaccine trial participants for a minimum of two months or eight weeks before the company actually submits data for approval to the FDA, meaning it's a requirement. And why did they pick eight weeks or two months? It's because we know that if there are going to be side effects, they typically happen within the first two months of vaccination. So the FDA says, hey, don't even submit us anything before you have followed these folks for at least that long. Um, and then, of course, participants continue to be followed after that. So the, the following and the tracking of people in trials, it doesn't stop then. So I don't want you guys to feel like, oh, well, they just tracked them for two months and it's gone. We don't know what's going to happen six years down the line or whatever. Once again, any side effects that usually happen, um, usually happen within two months. And number two, uh, trial participants are still uh, still tracked, okay? Um, so this is the thing. I can't promise anything because, well, who can promise anything in medicine and science? No, we never say never and we never say always, right? You probably never heard me say that. At least I hope you haven't um, because I can't, right? Can't promise you anything because science is science and the world changes and what? That's life, right? But um, the evidence is super, 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 super strong that the vaccines will not cause long-term effects other than what we might have seen already or effects that occur within the first two months of getting the vaccine. Guys, I am hoping that this is helpful. And let me tell you something else I think you need to know, um, by the way, is while evidence suggests that there are no long-term effects or will not be any long-term effects aside from what we have already seen, effects that have been seen within two months of people getting, getting the vaccine, blah, 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 although we never say never, right? What we do know is that there are long-term effects to getting COVID, not just death. I'm talking about long-haul symptoms, long, long, long COVID. You want to talk about worrying about long-term effects, worry about getting COVID. If you want to know, honestly, one of the reasons why I'm personally afraid of getting COVID, I am, even though I'm a doctor, is because I do worry about long COVID symptoms. 
What if I end up with long COVID symptoms? I have many patients who have heart palpitations, shortness of breath. They can't uh, be active. I, I have a patient who um, is basically a marathon runner and can no longer run because he had COVID and is just not the same. I worry about that. If you're worried about long-term effects, worry about COVID. Not just long haulers, but also the sort of lingering effects on the organs uh, and the body and what it does to, to the body. And also keep in mind that Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, when they're, they're talking about this on their website, they also said that in almost all cases um, of these sort of five vaccines that in the past have experienced effects, like major effects within two months, right? Those effects could have actually been experienced from people getting the disease state they were trying to be prevented or protected from by getting the vaccine, meaning it's, you know, if you're, if, you're, if you're focused only on the vaccine and how harmful it may be, which by the way, it is very, very safe and very effective, okay? But if you're focusing only on that, your focus is misplaced. The true concern is COVID. You can die from COVID. You can get long haul symptoms from COVID. You can end up hospitalized on a ventilator, sick, not the same from COVID. The evidence about that happening with vaccines really is not quite there, or according to CHOP, the evidence is strong that the vaccines will not cause long-term effects. That is, uh, I think, close to a direct quote, okay? Guys, I hope this is helpful. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. This was a topic I really wanted to talk about because so many of you guys worry about this. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope it was helpful. I know it's a lot of stuff, but there are a lot of questions going around, and especially with Delta variant, we cannot be careful enough. We know that Delta variant is affecting and infecting people who are unvaccinated at record rates. So getting vaccinated is literally the key here. Um, guys, I'm, again, Dr. Jen. I I'm a practicing family physician. Uh, if you've not subscribed to my channel and click the little bell for updates, I really do invite you to do so. I do do daily health videos and I also have a group on Facebook called I Got the COVID Vaccine. I have that group really to try to help people with the vaccine, um, to help answer questions, to help support you and encourage you when you actually get the vaccine, to high five you. Uh, remember that guys, we are really all in this together. And what I don't want is I don't want you to be afraid of the vaccine. What's really to be afraid of is COVID itself because of so many of the long-term effects that can literally happen with COVID. Guys, again, I hope this is helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments. I know you will. I know you always do. I am Dr. Jen. Um, I can't wait to come back to see you very soon with more videos. Guys, I'll be back soon.